today we're going to be looking at how we find a slope or a rate of change from a graph. So there's two things that we need to be able to do. We need to look at a line and find the rate of change, how fast, how quickly it's going up and over. And then we also need to know if it's going up, meaning positive, or if it's going down, which means it's negative. So a positive slope is puff, puff, positive. You're climbing up a mountain. So you always start from the left and move to the right, but it's going up as you move. You always want to find the closest to this left-hand side and then trace either up or down. So this dude would be going up. He's walking up that one. That's the type of slope. It's a positive slope. A negative slope is also, again, you're going to start from the left-hand side, but instead of going up, it's a nice negative. Because this dude, these ones are easy to go. He's sledding. I know, don't be jealous of my artwork. He's sledding down there, or tubing. I'm not sure what he's doing by that picture, but that's what he's doing. Pretend he's on an inner tube here, and he's going down the mountain. Okay, so this is a positive slope right here. This one's negative. Both of them you always read from left to right. So you start at the farthest left and decide is it going up or you start at the farthest left and is it going down. So this would be closest to my left hand side. This one would be closest to my left hand side which means I'm starting left moving up. I'm starting left but I would be moving down on that one. Then you have two other slopes, which is a zero slope, meaning there's no change. Like when you get on um, a freeway and it's just flat the whole time, that's a zero change. And so it would look like this. And so he's just, these are what, the ones we like riding our bikes on because there's no change. That's a bike. I know you guys don't be jealous of my artwork. And this is okay if a zero is on the top. Okay. And I tell you it's okay because if you end up with a zero on top, your answer is going to be zero. So it's a zero slope. Now, an undefined means that you're climbing straight up a mountain or I guess you're falling off the mountain. But it is hard to climb this. So I'm going to put that we're falling straight down. If you watch Slope Dude with us, you'll know that he's falling. And this is a no-no you cannot have a zero on the bottom. And so when you get it, if you put it in your calculator, you'll get what's called a divide by zero error, I think is what it says. And that's because you it's you cannot have a zero on bottom. It's it's undefined. All right. So that's the first part is the type of slope. Is it a positive slope, a negative slope? A zero slope or an undefined slope. What we really want to be able to do is find the rate of change or find the slope of the line. So um, our slope is our rise over run, which means our y over our x. Our rise is how much a line goes up or down. Because our, ri our rise, 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 y's on top, rise and y's, they sound alike. Where run, run, run is on bottom. And so run is how much the line goes left or right. So um, change in y over change in x. And a symbol for this, you'll see it written this way as you get higher in math, is what that means. The triangle means change in y over change in x. So here is how we find the slope from a graph or our rate of change. First of all, you're going to pick any two points on the graph line. And when I say any two points, we're looking for points that cross exactly at our crosshairs, like right there in the middle. We want one of these, we want those points right there. So um, you follow them until you can find one. Um, and also, like, if we look at this right here, we can see that that's not quite on the crosshair. This, here's my line. If I'm tracing my line, where does it actually cross through the corner of the box? Well, it crosses right here. There's one. Almost there, but not quite. Definitely not here. Definitely not there. Not quite there, but it's going to cross here again. 
and you can see that it's going to cross right there again. On this one, it crosses all over the place. It crosses here, and following the line, it crosses here at the crosshairs, here, 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 also crosses here. So even though I'm marking all these points, I actually only need two of them. I only need two points. So, and then um, if you mark this one, it crosses right in the middle at our origin. And then going up, it, we can cross right there again. It crosses right here again. It crosses right here again. So you can see, and it also crosses down here. So you are going to pick any two of those points. Once you've picked two of those points, you're going to decide if the type of slope. Is it positive or is it negative? It could also be undefined or it could be zero. If it's undefined or zero, there's, there's nothing more you need to do. You just write undefined or you write zero. But if it's positive... Then we write, um, we got to find the slope. And so what we do is starting the at the point farthest to the left, we're going to draw a right triangle that connects the two points. So in other words, um, this would be my point farthest to the left. And I can connect it from here to here. Because this goes down, I want to always do my rise first and then my run. So that's what it's looking like. That's a right triangle. You could have picked, let's say you didn't see that middle point right here. You could have done your slope. You could have drawn this as well, your right triangle right here. Because it will simplify to the same thing. Anything will matter. Or any exact point um, will give you the same answer. So I'm just going to use these ones right here. So I draw a right triangle starting from the furthest left. I come down and then I go over. I knew this was a negative slope because again, it started on my left and following that line, it's going down. So this is a negative slope. So the type of slope is negative. And then my actual slope is what we're gonna find. We wanna find our, our actual slope is our Y over our X. So how far did we change in our Y's and X's? So we drew our slope and then what we're going to do is how many units did you go up or down and this is your y um and if you went down then your number should be negative that's the biggest thing that you need to remember because a bunch of you will um forget and you will forget your negative you'll have the right numbers with the wrong sign. So I dropped one, two, three, four. So I dropped four and then I ran. So that's my top is my Y's. There's a change of four. And then how many units did you go right? That is your run. And we say right because you should have started with your farthest point to the left and we're moving to the right. And we went one, two, three, four, five to the right. So we went down four and five to the right. What that's saying is if I went down four again, one, two, three, four, and five to the right, I'd run into my next point, which is right there. And that's very true. That's exactly what happened. So um, you're going to put your rise over your run. Slope is always in the form of a fraction. And then you're going to make sure that you simplify. And remember the fraction button on our calculator. We should know this by now is the N over D button. All right, so let's do this one. So first of all, the type of slope. This is a zero slope. There's no change in it. It just stays at a constant line going from um, one side from the left side to the right side. So this is a zero slope. The reason this is a zero slope is because I am not running, I'm not rising any. So if I were to ride this, I'd have a rise of zero, but each time I ran one. And if you put this in your calculator, you're gonna get zero, which goes back to what I said here. It's okay to have a zero on top. This just means we didn't move up and down, we only moved left and right. On this one, again, it says connect any two points starting from your farthest left point. So I'm going to start right here 
and I'm going to connect from here, and it does not matter. I'm going to connect from here to here. So now I figure out how many I'm going up, which is one, two, three. In this case, I went up three. So this is a positive slope, and the um, actual slope was a rise of three and a run of three. If you put this in your calculator, it'll come out as one. And so we want as a fraction, which is one over one. Um, and if I would have chosen like this point right here to draw this triangle right here, I would have gone up one and over one, which is exactly the same as what we had right there. All right, so let's try these. First of all, we look at the type of slope. Is it a positive slope, a negative slope, a zero slope, or is it undefined? So you may have to come back up here, look at your pictures. Is this slope going positive, negative? Is it a zero slope or is it undefined? This one is an undefined slope. Which means if we were to graph exact points, we're going down every single time, but we are not moving over. So what this would look like is one over zero or whatever you could do, 50 over zero. But it is a no-no to have that zero on the bottom. So this is why for your slope, you would write undefined. That's all you would write. All right, on this one again, starting from your farthest left, I can see here's an exact point. Following my line, I can see there's another exact point. So if I were to do this, I'm gonna go up and then to the right. So that means this is a positive type of slope with a rise of one and a run of one. And you could just write one and that would be fine too. All right, on this one, this type of slope starting from your farthest left, if I were to draw my dude here, he's going down. If I were to draw my dude here, farthest left, he's going up. So this guy's coming down. So here's my first point. He keeps walking down, 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 down. Doesn't look like he crosses again till right there. So since he's going down, this is a negative slope. And I dropped, so I went down. And then I turned and went right. So I went down a drop of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I dropped seven, so I went negative seven, a drop of seven. And then I ran to the right, one, two, three, four, five. And that would be your final answer. Don't change that. Even though it's improper, if you put it in your calculator, it's going to come out the same way. Do not change that. All right. So on these ones, again, starting from your farthest left, your point to your farthest left. So here's my slope. Here's my dude. First thing you need to do is tell me, is that slope positive or negative? And then draw your triangle. They've already marked your points for you right here and here, right here and here right here and here. So you need to draw your triangle and then give me your slope um, as your rise over run. So y over x.